And with that, it's our tale of the tape. Ronnie Rios, 31 years old, five foot seven and a half, both men with a 67 inch reach. We're scheduled for 10 rounds. Negrete doesn't know any other way. He's never been down. He, he, uh, he just he just throws a lot of punches. That's how that's how he's become successful as, as a boxer by throwing so many punches. Nice left hook for Rios. And downstairs, back upstairs, and back downstairs again. Negrete also had an excellent amateur backing. That am he also sparred with you know great. Champions like Leo Santa Cruz and Daniel Ponce de Leon, Giovanni, Segu Giovanni Segura. Rios walked in the doors of a boxing gym when he was 13 years old. A man who greeted him, Hector Lopez, who is still his trainer today. I know you respect that a lot, Sergio, considering what you did with your trainer. Big shot right there by Rios. Negrete took that hook well. These are great body shots from Rios. He is just a wilting body puncher. You saw it against De La Hoya, you saw it against Barrio. Half his landed punches in these fights are body shots, so he's going to be committed in that type of attack. So it's the Jaguar versus Ronnie Rios. Round two scheduled for 10. Contract a weight of 122 pounds. Rios back downstairs right on the belt line that time. Negrete saying that's a little low, but yeah. it didn't look like it. Now that wasn't low. That was a clean punch. And you can tell Negrete is getting a little wary of all these shots the midsection. And that's what they want out of Ronnie Rios. More body shots. I'm telling you, Todd, even though you're blocking those shots, even as a smaller man, you're absorbing that all that power. Those shots right there, they may seem blocked, but they're 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 doing damage. And now, nice little combo there from Rios, who started low and then threw a couple uppercuts in there. Absolutely. Once you start digging down to the body like that, your opponent has to be worried about that. He's just worried about not getting hit to the body. That's when you can pick him up with uppercuts and, and round the looping shots. Great body shot by Rios, and they get that coming right That back. one might have been a little low. But Rios just covers up and goes back at it. I think they realize you're going to have to let a couple low blows go, considering how many punches are right there on the belt line. And there's that uppercut I was talking about, the sneaky right uppercut, and right back down to the body is Rios. Negrete has never been stopped. Watch your heads, guys. Watch your heads. 33 of Ronnie Rios's 57 shots have been to the body, so a little over 50% downstairs. And yeah, that's in line. Oh, nice done. combination. Followed up with an uppercut and back downstairs again. And these will certainly have to break down Negrete as these rounds continue. Negrete is hoping that Rios will struggle making weight and that he's going to die down. But right now, it looks like Rios actually is getting stronger with those body shots even as the, as the rounds go on. Well, Negrete believes Rios will slow down these later rounds, but you have to get to those later rounds oh. first and foremost. He's taking a pretty good beating. Right yeah, now. a right cross from Rios, who's oozing with confidence. You can just start to feel it brimming right now as he backs Negrete up into the corner. Rios is really fighting relaxed like a seasoned pro. Not really, uh, not really uh, moving too much. He's not wasting any energy, just landing really clean, nice shots. This is what a true professional looks like right here in front of you guys. And one of the advantages that we have of fighting or watching fights here in an arena with no fans, you can hear all those punches land, and you can tell which ones are landing more powerful. Even the ones that are being blocked feel powerful, and that's exactly what they told Negrete, Clemente Medina. Don't be blocking those body shots. They're having an effect. Even though they feel like you're blocking them, you're still, you're still not doing enough. Nice uppercut and downstairs again. Ronnie Rios is putting on an outstanding performance so far. Can he keep it up through 10, though? Negrete does not seem to believe so, or at least didn't yesterday. Negrete's going to have to get some respect right now, and he's trying to do that now. He's trying to penetrate the gloves and the guard of Rios. 
when you know you're going to face a body puncher, Sergio, that's going to hit you 100 times or more to the body, do you do anything different in training camp to prepare yourself to get callous for those shots? There's no way you get callous for it. What about the big medicine ball on the stomach I, and the I've punches? Never, with your... I've never been a fan of that because normally you see the medicine ball coming and you brace for it. In body shots, you're breathing. You're worried about your head shots and everything else. You're not, you're not bracing yourself and, and making your stomach hard for that. And like you said, you can't make your liver strong. <laughs> you you can only make your liver quiver, as the late, great Dusty Rhodes used to say. You know, Rios is showing physicality in this fight, but you're also seeing the depth of his technique. I mean, this guy was a decorated amateur, two-time U.S. national champion, national Golden Gloves champion, drew some comparisons after turning pro to Oscar De La Hoya, but you can see the real talent in Ronnie Rios. Oh, sweeping right hand and another one for Rios. And credit to Negrete's chin. He's walked right through those. No, credit to Negrete. Last sixth and this seventh round, the last round, he's been trying to back up Rios. He's been trying to throw some combinations, trying to hurt him. This might be a case of Ronnie Rios just being a little bit too strong or too big for Negrete. I just don't think fighting in the pocket is the way to fight Ronnie Rios, especially when you don't have the kind of power that can back him up. And not to mention, Rios is looking sharp. He's really looking like a, like a professional in there. You heard Hector Lopez tell Ronnie Rios, don't let him go and get dirty on you. Now, I agree, because after such a fine performance, the and last thing you need... It looked like a headbutt. The last thing you need is a headbutt and a cut to, to keep you suspended and not to get back in, in the ring as soon as possible. That's the last thing you want is a, a, a needless injury or cut. Right cross again from Rios. That's been one of his better punches. They've all looked good. Quite frankly, the uppercuts, the body punches, the right cross, it's all gone right for Absol Rios. Absolutely. This is the sharpest I've seen him in a long time. And, and it's like he, he, was, he was in a position where he was thinking about retiring. And now we're seeing him firing on all cylinders, looking sharp. There's a, there, there's a bounce on his feet. There's a gleam in his eye. And he's looking really, really sharp. He started, Ronnie Real started fighting calmly. There's a right hand connected there for Negrete. Maybe a little too calm now, but he started yeah. fighting calmly from the first round all the way to the 10th round now. And this is what's making this performance so special that he's not wasting any energy. Everything's really powerful and landing at a high percentage, not even breathing hard. Well, one thing we know about Negrete for sure, and we probably knew this coming in, great chin. The guy can take some punches. Took 30 rounds of it from Joshua Franco, took another 12 from Ray Vargas. Now he's going to go 10 with Ronnie Rio, so he, he can take a punch. If I told you before this fight started, Sergio, that Rios would outland Negrete three to one and out throw Negrete by two to one. What would you say? No way. And I, I would think anyone that knew what they were wa watching, any boxing aficionado, will tell you the same thing. Negrete just throws too much. But that just goes to show you how how solid of a performance you know Ronnie Reels is having because it's all, it's a Ronnie Reels show here and, and he's not doing anything spectacular but that's what makes him a fine fighter he's not the fastest not the strongest but he's a technician in there and when he's in shape and motivated we're seeing what we get Ronnie Rios made it look easy, and it's never easy when you fight Oscar Negrete. Negrete. Ladies and gentlemen, after 10 rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards, and here are the totals. Both Fernando Villarreal and Dr. Lou Moran have it 100 to 90. Rudy Barragan scores it 99-91. All three for your winner by unanimous decision from Santana Calipas, Ronnie Reed.